from Itzy Cosmetics. Um, I will show you everything in the video, so definitely stay tuned how I got this eye look. And also featuring a discount for those of you who want to shop for these shadows. And I hope that you will love this look as much as I do. This video contains both hair and makeup. Um, I want to show you how I got these fabulous curls, and I think they are perfect for prom. So if you are looking for a great hairstyle and makeup look, then look no further than this video. This look will go great with black, with um, silver, or with gold dress, something to give it a little bit of a pop. Um, so if you, and especially pink, don't let me leave out pink or purple. So if you are wearing any of those colors, then this is a great video for you to follow along with and get the perfect look for your prom. Don't let this look just be for prom. You can also use this for a girls night out. You can use it for a great date night, a wedding, or anything that you may be going to. It's a great look whether you are going formal or not. It's a great natural but glam drama look. I wish you all well and thank you so much. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Thanks again for watching and I love you all and I will see you in the next video and I wish you the best prom ever. Let's get started. I'm using a rat tail comb to create my parts or sections. How I sectioned my hair was I actually kind of combed the front portion of my hair forward towards my face and then left my hair open kind of like cousin it if you can think of cousin it um, and then I thought of my hair as a pie and how you would cut a pie and then I created each section into or parted it into triangular sections as if you were slicing a pie then I began rolling the front sections first and then the back now the back half of my hair is actually part in half, so it's actually still parted into the triangular sections of a pie, but I parted the back section um, across. So what I'm doing here is flat twisting down. I first applied coconut oil, and then I applied my foam styling mousse. You can use any of your choice. And then I'm starting with two sections at the base of the part and then I am flat twisting downward. Once I get to the end of the flat twist right there at I guess the root or the end of the root of my hair I let it go ahead and split it in half and then clip one half of the twist out of the way and I apply a little more styling mousse for extra hold make sure it's smooth using my rat tail comb and no, no tangles and then I roll the end of the hair just to make sure it's covered and then begin to wind roll it onto the roller now I'm going back in and I'll get the other half of the twist again apply my styling mousse for extra hold make sure all the tangles are knocked out and that it's smooth I'll put another roller, but this one, this time I'm using a green one. As you'll see on every single twist and roll, I'm actually using two different rollers. This is to apply or allow it to have a little bit more curl variation. I roll just the end to make sure it's tucked and then begin to wind roll it. Then if I feel like it's too loose or hanging loose, I'll take a bobby pin and then pin it at the base of my hair. 
Now I learned this technique from Curl Days here on YouTube, so if you haven't already, definitely check her channel out because using this method worked great for my curls. Please comment below and let me know if you'd like to see an in-depth tutorial on how I achieve this hairstyle from start to finish. For now, just remember you are repeating the same steps on each section. Just remember, part your hair as if you are parting a pie. Comb all of your hair around your head, the perimeter of your head, leaving the crown section exposed, and then begin to part into triangular sections there. And again, as the, for the back, to add a little more volume, after you part your triangular sections, just part it in half across, going across, making a top and bottom section. Once all of my rollers are installed, I'm covering my hair and air drying overnight. Very important, be sure that whatever you cover your hair with is a satin material. You can also sit under a hooded dryer if you want a faster result. It's the next day and time for makeup. To pull my bonnet out of the way so that I don't get makeup on it, I'm using an elastic headband. Now please allow me to introduce you to Itsy. Itsy has individual pots containing eyeshadows, highlighters, cheek colors, brow powders, and all of their palettes are in different colors which you can choose your own color. I chose white and metallic gold. You can order their curated collections which have already selected colors that will coordinate or you can order your own. Each of the palette can fit either 9 eyeshadows and 2 blushes or 12 shadow or brow colors. As you can see, I already did my eyebrows off camera, and now I'm applying Itsy Barefoot Eyeshadow as my transition color, and then a, a slowly blending it upward into my brow bone. As you can see, all of the shadows are extremely pigmented, not chalky at all, and very creamy. So the next color that I'll be using is this Itsy eyeshadow in the shade Changing to Flats. I love the colors. As you can see, that color is like extremely, I barely touched it and it's extremely pigmented. So I'm actually just dabbing my brush because this color is so long. And I'm actually starting by holding my brush at the very end of it so that I have a light. So here, this is to show you, I'm just literally dabbing it into the eyeshadow instead of swirling it around, which I would normally do with any other eyeshadow. But because of how pigmented this is, I want to slowly build it so that I can create a gradient effect. As you can see, I'm going back and forth with windshield wiper motions and creating a little bit of an outer um, wing and then bringing it down into the corner of my lid creating a bit of a winged and outer V portion of my eye. Now to build the color a little stronger, I'm moving my hand down to the center portion of the brush and applying a little more of the same shade, which was changing to flats. As with most eyeshadow looks, blending is very key. So I wanna make sure that I'm blending and blending and blending and making sure that everything looks great. Now I'll take this pencil shaped brush and I'm going in to intensify, still building the same changing to flats. As you can see, I'm taking my time. Of course, on other looks, then I could go full force with this color, but I want to make sure that it has that gradient effect. And I'm using this definitely just more so to define the crease and intensify the color. Then I'll go back in with a clean brush and blend some more. Using this Jumbo Milk Pencil just in the lower portion of my lid on the inner third and center of my eye, I'm using this as a primer to intensify this next color, which is Discotheque by Itsy. This is the most beautiful pink that I've probably ever used. I love, 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 love this color. Using a brush from, um, I believe it's an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush just to pack the color on in the center portion of my lid, blending it just a little bit into the outer corner to help, again, get that gradient effect. I didn't even wet my brush. This is just br dry and the color is so pigmented. Love. Now this probably has to be my favorite color of all. It is so unique. This is Save the Chinchilla. I had to, had to, had to use this. I'm applying this to the inner corner of my lid and then just blending it, bleeding it over a little bit into the pink. And now over that, I'm going in with Rose. Love this color and I'm actually gonna do that on top of the Save the Chinchilla color just to add a little more iridescent look. 
Now I'll go back in a little more with changing to flats and intensify to make sure that color pops perfectly. Now for my inner corner, I'm using alabaster and this is just to highlight the inner corner of my eye. Love it. This look is all about the eyeshadow work for me, so no wing liner today. I'm just applying gel liner to my lash line. And now I'll go in and it's time for the face using Dr. Brandt Pores No More as my primer. For my foundation, I'm using my Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo. I definitely want a full coverage for my prom look. And as always, to apply this foundation, I'm using a damp blending sponge. As my concealer, I'm using my all-time favorite Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Medium Neutral. And then I will use that same damp blending sponge to blend in my concealer and make sure that it is all set in place. To set my concealer, I'm using my MAC C6 Studio Fix Foundation Powder. And I'm just applying that and using patting motions just to set it all in and make sure that my concealer stays in place and does not crease. For contouring, I'm using my Morphe Brushes Contour Palette in 06F Pressed Powder form. I'm using the darkest shade in there and I'm making sure that my contour is set in place. For bronzer, I'm using my Smashbox Bronzing Powder. This is a shimmer powder. I think this particular one is actually discontinued, but I love the colors and couldn't stay away. And I'm mixing two blush colors, which are my LA Colors Mineral Blush in Pink Du Jour and Spiced Rum. And now I'm going in with my Inglot. Just below the smudged black liner, I'm applying Changing to Flats, and then below that, Discotheque. Now this is my favorite way to get a great lashes without applying false lashes if you're not into it. The Maybelline Lash Sensational. Then over that, applying my favorite L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black. It makes the great combination for lashes. Now I'm gonna set everything in with my NYX Set It, Don't Fret It. Today I'm actually using two lashes and I'm stacking them. I always get these lashes off of eBay. And as you can see, it gave me great lashes without covering up all of my eyeshadow work. I don't want something that sprawls out too far. Now for my highlighter, I want it to bling, so I'm layering two of my favorite highlighters, which is my Sheer Cover Highlighter and my Becca Moonstone. Going over that, and it makes me the perfect glow for this look. To line my lips, I'm using my NYX Lip Pencil in the shade Bloom. And then I'm mixing two shades of lipstick by Ruby Kisses. First, Nude Rose and then Bare Nude. And then in the center of my lips, this gloss by Nick Knack in the shade Coral. I'll set it all in place using my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And now it's time to take down my rollers. As you can see, I'm just using a winding motion in the opposite direction that I wound it up on the roller. And my curls turned out perfectly bouncy, shiny, and beautiful without any heat applied to the hair. To separate, I'm just undoing those twists that I applied and it without me having to really do much separation as I'm taking the flat twist out, it separates my curls perfectly. As you can see, I decided to go with a part on the side, but the great thing about putting all of my hair in that pie parted sections, if you will, I have more options of how I can split my hair. To give it a little more volume, I pick with an Afro pick and then I give it a good shake. To lay down my edges, I'm using Curl's Blueberry Curl Control Paste. This is to give me the perfect shine on my edges and lay them down all night without them moving and I have a great sleek look. As you can see, everything turned out exquisite. Go and shop with itsy.com and get 20% off using my code MMGONC20. These are some of the most pigmented colors that I've ever used and I felt like a true queen. Huge hugs and kisses to Itzy for making this prom look perfect. Don't forget to shop with Itzy and follow them on Instagram at Itzy underscore SF. Thanks so much for watching this video. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.